します。Number 1 Roger Williams Park Zoo The 40-acre Roger Williams Park Zoo is not only one of the oldest zoos in the country, but it's a paragon of modern zoo design and concept. At this kid-friendly and largely cage-free place, you can meet a snow leopard, giraffe, elephant, zebra, wildebeest, alligator, kangaroo, and red panda, and small fry can climb into the treehouse or go for a camel ride. Number 2 Water Fire at least twice a month between mid-May and late November, braziers in the middle of the river are filled with bonfires that light down city Providence. During full water fire, more than 80 fires blaze from Waterplace Park to Memorial Slash South Main Street Park. Number 3 RISD Museum of Art Whether your artistic passion is for French Impressionists or Japanese prints, or your design tastes run to ancient Egyptian, early American, or cutting-edge contemporary, you'll find enough to keep you happy in the depth and breadth of this museum's collections. Number 4 Rhode Island State Capitol A Providence landmark, the white marble Rhode Island State Capitol dominates the city with the world's fourth-largest self-supported dome. The neoclassical building was designed by the architectural firm of McKim, Mead & White, and completed in 1904. You can visit the building on your own or with a free guided tour. Number 5 Federal Hill Atwell's Avenue crowns Federal Hill, the hill that rises to the west of Down City, and is the vibrant heart of Providence's large Italian-American community. That community now spreads throughout the city, but the concentration of restaurants, cafes, and shops selling Italian foods along Atwell's Avenue, and its adjacent streets and squares stems from the days when immigrants grouped closely with others who shared their language and traditions. Number 6 Waterplace Park People still have trouble pronouncing the names of the Mashasak and Wunasquatuffet, two narrow rivers that wind through Providence, but at least they can see them now. This was not always true four decades they were hidden by what may have been the world's widest bridge, until they were once again revealed in the 1990s. Number 7 Providence Performing Arts Center A prominent feature on lively Waybosset Street for nearly a century, the Providence Performing Arts Center occupies the former Lowe's Movie Palace. The stunning Bose Arts Theatre was designed by George and C. W. Rapp of Chicago, who designed many of the most opulent theatres of the time. Number 8 Benefit Street Mile of History On this mile-long street traversing the steep hillside that rises from the river to the Brown University campus, you can see an architectural history of Providence. At one end are the restrained and elegant federal period homes, beautifully restored with their doorways in a neat row close to the street, and as you walk farther, you'll see grand homes set back on their lawns, and later Victorian, even arts and craft style residences. Number 9 Brown University The Brown University campus crowns College Hill, and has since 1770, its oldest building, and still the center of the campus is University Hall, which served as a barracks and hospital during the Revolution. The impressive Van Wickle gates open only twice a year, on the first day of classes, and for the commencement procession in May. Number 10 John Brown House President John Quincy Adams described the 1786 home of merchant John Brown as the most magnificent and elegant mansion that I have ever seen on this continent. From its lofty hillside setting he could keep an eye on his China trade ships and warehouses at India Point, the source of his considerable wealth. Hope you like this video for more videos please subscribe to our channel.